Hi, Scott. Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free website audit for SRS Pavers in Costa Mesa, California. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you three to four things that you can do to get SRS Pavers in front of the people searching for paver services in the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, like I said on the phone, I don't expect anything in return for this video. I am trying my best to um, positively affect as many business owners as I can, specifically locally owned uh, family owned type businesses it is my passion it is my um, my my life's work <laughs> um, and so I'm happy to help and if you want to take this information and do these things yourself um, that is the idea right and of course you can think of this as a business card with oomph <laughs> if you need help with any of this stuff I'd be happy to talk to you about you know your business plans and seeing if our um, businesses make sense as a partnership moving forward but um, I hope that you take this information um, whether you work with me or not and feel more empowered with this information um, okay so let's jump right in so the first thing that I always check for when I am um, auditing a website is a big click to call phone number somewhere at the top. So I do see your phone number here and it is not a click to call. This will click and it's a click to home, um, which is like what people generally do with their logos. Um, and I don't know, maybe that's, yeah. So that's because this whole thing is one image. You're going to want to chop this image in half and put your phone number here as a click to call a separate uh, button and that's going to help increase the amount of people that can actually um, that will call you. <laughs> um, so the rest of this video is going to be more about getting people to your site than getting them to take action once they're there. That's my specialty. Um, so uh, next is content. How many words are on your site and are they relevant to what you do? The few words that I see here, definitely relevant. They describe what you do, which is great. Um, the only reference to your area, the area that you service on your site is your, as far as I could find, <laughs> was your um, address here, which is how I knew to, to um, how I knew where you were. Uh, <laughs> and you're definitely want to, going, going to want to increase the amount of words on your site. Um, it is a very, uh, Google loves content. Basically, it thinks that if you have lots of words on your site about what you do, um, you must be an expert and you must be the most relevant person to show to the searchers. So you want lots of words. We recommend to our clients about 3,000 words minimum on their home page and 1,500 or more on the other pages. Uh, and then finally on your site, the images. So if I right click on any image and click save image as, I can see this image was saved as photo 2921. Um, so I can tell when it was taken, <laughs> but that doesn't help. Um, what we want to do is actually save all these images again, but this time save it as key phrases that people are actually typing into Google when they're looking for your services and they're in your service area. So um, I did a bit of research on it. I threw you guys into Eris, which is my tool that gives me an in-depth look into how a website's performing. Um, and then I, so I want to, I want to point out a few key metrics, important numbers here. So we've got your UR and your DR scores, which are basically um, your UR score is how trustworthy Google thinks that your web page is, this exact page. In this case, it's your home page. And then your DR score is that same trustworthiness, but for your entire website as a whole. So you've got a little more trust with Google for your homepage than the rest of your site, um, but it's not too much of an imbalance. It was more of an imbalance. I'd be a little worried thinking, you know, this is a uh, Google. Sometimes if you have lots of trust, you know, if you put a lot of power into one page, but don't have power in the other pages, it'll think that you're trying to pull a fast one and be sneaky maybe. And so um, you want a well-rounded site. And this is pretty good. I would say it should be a little more even than this, which means you need to put a little more effort into ranking your back pages or the pages that are not your home page basically and with and how you get those numbers to be larger 
um, is with, yes, the content, adding those content, um, saving those images properly and all of that, but also with backlinks and referring domains. So a backlink is any link that goes from another website back to your site. Any referring domain is any website that has at least one of those links on there. So you've got six websites out there pointing to your site a total of nine times. Um, and that is a good start. You want to increase this number for sure, but be careful that when you do go find um, websites to put links to your site on them, that you're finding websites that have a high DR score um, and uh, that are relevant to your business in some way, whether it's relevant because it's also home improvement niche or because it's another business in the same area. If you can draw a logical conclusion as to how it's related, then that's good. If you can't, then um, Google's not probably going to be able to do that either. And it's going to think that you're just trying to get, you know, trying to show up at the top of Google and not actually deserving it. So, <laughs> so that it helps with uh, Google seeing you as relevant. And then organic keywords. Um, I will show you some organic keywords that you might want to include in your content as you add content. And there's some things that you want to save, you know, those images like we were talking about. So um, I put in some areas. I'm actually, I'm in the city of Orange. Uh, that's where I live. So I'm not very far from you guys. We could get coffee sometime if you want. Um, so uh, Orange County Pavers, or Pavers Orange County, mind you, those are the different. So um, I put in all the areas that are nearby and we've got, um, I added pavers, retaining for a retaining wall, a natural stone. I just kind of threw in some, some phrases to get a feel of what's out there, um, search wise. So we have this search term and I want to point out four key features, um, of a good keyword. So we've got something that you do, pavers, a place that you do it, Orange County. We've got a high volume, so 150 people are searching for this exact phrase spelled just this way on average every single month. And we've got a low KD, which stands for keyword difficulty and is basically how difficult does this tool, Arifs, think it would be to get to the first page of Google. And with a score like two, you would think, oh, wow, that's super easy. Like, that's so low compared to like, it's two out of 100, so that's really low. Well. You're right, it is really low, and it is going to be a lot easier to show up for this too than like Los Angeles Pavers here with a 28. That would take a while. It would take um, a lot of effort. This isn't gonna take nearly as long. It's not gonna take as many backlinks, um, and not as much content and all that to get to the top for something like this, but it is gonna take its time. You can't think that this is gonna happen overnight. It just simply won't. Um, SEO is about building trust or SEO stands for search engine optimization. And it's about building trust with that, that uh, search engine. We focus on Google because it has more than 90% of all searches. Um, and so uh, it's about you know building trust with it and, and it takes a while. But once you're up there, it's really nice. You can kind of just keep uh, keep swimming in it and then you stay up there and it's you'll see great benefits. But um, so we want to focus on ones that have something that you do, somewhere that you do it, low keyword difficulty and a high volume. So this one is really perfect. You can check out as you go down these other ones here. Um, well, this one is a brand name. You can actually save your images even as a brand name like this and show up in front of your competition. Now, that would be good if the person happens to just kind of know system pavers and they're not really like trying to, you know, they don't really care if they go with system pavers or not. That's just one they know of and you want to show up in front of them. But it's not as effective as a um, non-brand one like this because some people might be really trying to find system pavers. You know, they already worked with them or, you know, they have some, some reason that they don't want to go with some other uh, company. So uh, as you're going through and looking at these and deciding which ones you want to include on your site, have those things in mind. So I'll scroll down and you're welcome to pause and take a look at these uh, these uh, keywords. Okay, so um, if I type Pavers Orange County into Google, like these 150 people on average every month are doing, this is what we get. So usually there's some ads at the top, they're not showing up, who cares? Um, and most people skip past them anyway. And then we have the um, the map pack, M-A-P-P-A-C-K, map pack. And what that is, is that's the top three local results on the maps. 
Um, if you end up in the top three, you end up on the first page of Google, which is very helpful in getting people to your website, as you can see from these links. Okay, so how you get up into the map pack is a little bit different than how you end up down here in the organic results like I've been talking about this whole time. So I'm going to take a quick pause, talk about this, and then go back to organics. So what you want to do is make sure that your um, Google My Business listing is correct. So you'll look yourself up on Google. It'll show up on this side over here and it'll have your name, address, phone number, and a bunch of other information. You want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number are spelled perfectly correctly because then you're going to take that same information and you're going to put it on different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Facebook. There are literally um, hundreds, probably thousands really, of these websites where you can list your information. And what that's going to do is it's going to basically prove to Google over and over again that you really do exist, you really do serve this area, and, may, and you do um, these services. So it's going to help to basically just show Google, yes, you're legitimate, and that's going to help boost your credibility and, and push you up here. Um, and then, so none of that though is as exciting as showing up here in um, the number one organic result. So this is the result that will get 30% of all of the, the visits to this page. So of those 150 people coming to this site, uh, this page every month on average, about thir uh, 45 of them are going to go to this link right here. So when they do, this is what they see. Now I'm looking at this um, as an SEO expert and I'm thinking what is it that they're doing that is getting them to the top and why are you not showing up there, right? Um, let's look at their, con uh, their content. How many words do they have on their page? Well, it's more than you have for sure, but it's definitely not that 3,000, not even that 1,500 word minimum that I was talking about for a back page right so they're not doing great there and then if I right click on an image let's find one real fast if I right click on this image click save image as are they taking advantage of saving their images properly online design discovery um, I don't think that that is that doesn't have anything to do with like where they are so not really <laughs> well that's great that's good but that's another way we can get ahead basically right and then if we throw them into Arabs this tool again we can see their overall health score for their site. Um, their UR score, remember that's for this specific page. So in this case, it's it's not their home page, it's slash locations slash Orange County Los Angeles. Um, so they've kind of bunched those two areas together. And um, they have some backlinks and referring domains coming to this page, but it's not gonna be difficult to beat them out in that way. And their DR score is quite high, I will admit, but don't get too scared because we don't have to beat their whole website. We just have to beat this page. And we can do that by, yes, raising our DR score, but we don't have to be past their DR score in order to uh, surpass this page. Um, it, of course, it would make it very much easier, <laughs> but um, it is perfectly possible the way it is. Um, and here's another fun thing. So we can go in here, we can click on this and see what referring domains are, sh are uh, pointing to them um, and get some good ideas like iHeart.com. I don't know if that's relevant. So, but that's a fun way to use their, um, their information, but not nearly as fun in I, in my opinion, because I really, really like keyword research, is I click on their organic keywords and I can see what they have, um, what keywords they're showing up for on this page. Um, System Pavers Santa Ana, California, of course, they're showing up for that. Um, Pavers Orange County CA. So that's almost just like this one, but it's got that C at the, CA at the end. And there's, and there's 20 people showing, I mean, 20 people searching for that each month. So it's kind of fun to go down and check them out and think, hmm, what is it that, you know, uh, we want to use too. Be careful though, with these, you know, high volume keywords that they actually have an area attached, right? Because if it doesn't have an um, an area, then it's what's known as a national keyword. It's a lot harder to rank for those. And also if somebody types in, you know, just pavers without an area, well, we don't know if they're in New York or in Los Angeles, or they could be in Chicago or many of the other places in the United States. So um, you really want to go after the ones that have the area in the keyword. 
So that's it for me. Um, here's my information on how to get a hold of me. Uh, and thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching this and I look forward to your feedback on whether this was helpful.